you. Uh, this is a very disturbing development indeed. The situation in Philadelphia comes only hours after Democratic presidential candidate Senator Kamala Harris uh, released a detailed plan to expand gun background checks, fight white supremacy, and disarm domestic terrorists. Senator Harris, who serves on both the Judiciary and Intelligence Committees, is joining us here in the Situation Room. Very disturbing development indeed. Your former Attorney General of California. What, what's your reaction to these initial reports? And I stress the word initial reports. Well, it's just, when will it stop, right? I mean, um, part of, of my focus on what we need to do around guns, smart gun safety laws is recognize that um, we have to have more enforcement around gun dealers. Uh, well, 90% of the guns that are associated with crime are sold by just 5% of the gun dealers in the United States. And so among the many plans that I have, both in the form of executive action and also in the form of legislation, one of them is to put more resources into the ATF to take the licenses of gun dealers um, who violate the law. And that includes a number of things, including when they're responsible for doing background checks, not doing them. So, but does your plan go, from your perspective, far enough? Well, there are a variety of things. First of all, let's be clear. Um, I, have, I have hugged too many mothers of homicide victims over the years. I have looked at more autopsy photographs than I care to tell you of people whose lives have been ended because of gun violence. We need Congress to act. We do not lack for good ideas. We do not lack for tragedies. The failure of Congress, however, the United States Congress, to act on passing smart gun safety laws is, is, is the issue. So uh, when elected, I'll give the United States Congress 100 days to pull their act together on this and put a bill on my desk for signature. And if they do not, I am prepared to take executive action to, one, put in place a comprehensive background check requirement, two, put the resources into the ATF to take the licenses from gun dealers who violate the law, and three, to ban the importation of so, assault So just to be precise, you want to give Congress 100 days and then take executive action. Some people say, you know what, Congress, given the 60 votes needed in the Senate, not going to do it. Why not take executive action on day one? Well, I, I believe in giving people a chance, especially when they know what's coming if they don't act. But the other piece of, of my focus on this is, as you said, it's about dealing with the white supremacist issue that we have and the domestic terrorism that is resulting from it. Because people are going to be killed in those first 100 days. Well, there's no question we need to act immediately. So, the, and, and, and the failure of Congress to act over these decades is, is also a point that you should make in terms of what we're seeing now and what we've been seeing from from Charleston and Mother Emanuel Church to El Paso. Um, so part of my focus is not only dealing with gun sales and background check requirements, but also addressing the issue of domestic terrorism. So I'm going to tell you a couple of things. One, I am prepared to require online background checks. So there is, a, there is a, an organization that sells online, armslist.com. And armslist is like the Craigslist of gun dealers. They're not required to do background checks. So part of what I'm prepared to do is require that they have to do background checks before they can. And this sell you them. would do through.